John the Van Guy. A little problem here. This is a radiator fan switch for a Talbot Express. And it comes with three wires. Uh, the red wire apparently is if you have two fans. I think on the bigger diesel 2.5, uh, you, you, you have a bigger fan or two fans operating at different opening. The fridge closes at different temperatures. So, um, so normally for a single fan, you'll use the black and the white wire. Trouble is, it's got these lovely connectors on the end. Um, and uh, most people uh, what have to resort to it because invariably the other connector, the proper connector is not there left on the old Talbot. You have to cut them off and then using some sort of um, uh, butt connector, uh, link the wires together. So what am I going to do? And I thought, well, it's such a pity to uh, not use that. So what I've done, I don't need the red wire. I've cut it halfway in case in the future I might add a terminal and attach another fan. So I've cut that. There you go. Now that gives me a terminal to go in that one. So that'll go in nicely and slot in there. So we've got one there, right? Now what do you do about that spur one? I think, or well, what on earth can you clamp to that spur one? Well, I thought it's thought long and hard, and I come come up with this idea. If you get these, I've got some of these book connectors from Holford's. They're the twenty-five amp ones. Uh, there we have one there. I've cut the. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've cut uh, the fluted end off. Uh, so you've just got the metal bit there. Now I've actually already tried. I've put that on. And it'll nearly go, but you can act, you actually find that it will tap on um, quite nicely onto that connector. So the only way you're going to be able to pull it off is with uh, thin nose pliers once it's on. So what if you could connect a wire into that end? So I've got this 27 amp cable, brown cable wire, again from Holford's. Um, now I've stripped the end using my lovely stripper, uh, stripped the end and folded the end so you've got like a, a fold in it which gives you a nice thick terminal which will sit beautifully in the hole. So you just, just wind it in, wind it in like that. Now all I've got to do is clamp it so i clamped that wire on so you what you need is one of these what could you how life isn't the same without one of these clamps so you get it over that half of the steel tube inside a little and then clamp like mad and is that tight oh yes that's not gonna come out you can't pull it out and pull out that leaves me that end Beautiful, you see that? And now you can, uh, because I've cut that fluted plastic bit off, that'll now fit on there, like so. And with a little encouragement, and in fact, what I did, you put it in a vise and simply And nearly on, nearly on. Let's hold it tight enough in the vice so it doesn't slide down when you do it. Don't over tighten. And yes. Oh, my little, love this little hammer. Right, <laughs> there you go. So that's my little plug being used. I'll probably put a bit of tape on the end of that red one because I'm not using it. And there's enough there to use it in the future if I want to put a double fan on. So now, uh, I don't need these, don't need two different lengths really. But I now have the wires to connect in to the wires on the van. And how about that then, eh? There's a nice shorty for you.